ladies and gentlemen, from the Palmer Event Center, Austin, Texas. We are now set for our final match of the evening. And it is for the Who's number one lightweight championship. And it is scheduled for a 30 minute time limit. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing Atos Jiu Jitsu, San Diego, California. Here is Ken Rutello. Coming to the mat first here in the 155 pound, the lightweight final in Who's Number One Championship. This is Cade Rotolo. Now we watched his brother Ty capture the 185 belt earlier tonight. Can the Rotolo twins go two for two here? Can he become the third Atos representative to take a Who's Number One title? Well, we'll find out shortly. Yeah, Cade's got a serious look on his face. Perhaps feeling the pressure, perhaps feeling the excitement of the room. There's an energy that's overtaken the arena here in Austin, Texas. They are ready for this final. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, representing ZR Team Apex North Carolina by way of Brazil. Here is Gabriel Sousa. This man scored one of the biggest upsets of the tournament in the first round of the lightweight division, taking out Mikey Musumichi, one of the favorites, via submission, and following up with a series of, well, just an incredible run to get through into this final match against Rotolo. What can fans expect from Souza, Chase? A lot of action. Let's see our tail to tape here before things kick off. Cade, the younger, also substantially taller. Let's get after it. Right there, don't move forward. Ready, Gabriel. Ready, Key. Fight! Rotolo with the blue ankle band, Souza with the red. Now, Souza comes into this tournament as a uh, something of a last minute replacement. He was originally our number one alternate for this division. He came in to replace the injured Ethan Gralenstein about three weeks ago, and he has grasped that opportunity with both hands made a huge statement in his opening match against Musumichi, submitting that guy with a, or that opponent with a, a north-south choke. And if you're not familiar with Souza's style, Stop. aggressive wrestling, scrappy, solid positional control, and you could just tell by the look in his eyes, intense. Yes, absolutely, he is a serious competitor. He was fired up coming in as a dark horse. He knew he had something to prove, and he's done it substantially. Look at the pace both these athletes have right now. A little flying triangle possibly there yeah. across quite the Ooh. club. From Sosa. A little flying triangle attempt there from Rotolo, who has a distinct size advantage here. Quite a quite a bit taller, I gotta say. It's um Sosa stands right about five foot five, as Rotolo is a solid five nine, five ten. And those long arms as well were well aware of the threat that they pose. Scored. Dust choke in his, excuse me, in his opening match. His second match, his semi-final was a little disappointing. It was a very uh, short-lived match. It was a um, an injury just uh, less than a minute into the into the match with Josh Cisneros, and we're glad that Cisneros was able to return to fight in the third place bracket. Brackets not too serious in the injury. Yeah, a real show of heart today for Cisneros to show up and, and do that. Got to give him credit for that, but but it is no secret that that the Rutolo brothers. They both scored dust chokes this weekend, and I'm sure Souza is aware of that, but that hasn't stopped him from coming forward. No, this has been pretty dynamic, despite uh, no takedowns occurring yet. They are definitely going forward out there, pushing each other, and Gabriel Souza, stop! Look at that wow. big double leg. Kind of Same bull rush there from Ked Ruotolo. I mean, almost Superman taking him off the mat. Arm strap inside. They're going to restart go. in that same position. That, that, was a, uh, that was a statement there from Ruotolo. Putting Souza down. Hey, let's move it this way here. Let's move it this way. Perfect, man. Restart the center. Get those butterfly hooks. Oh, there's his uniform. No, no news. Hey, make contact. Hey! No hanging around on that restart. Souza straight back up to his feet. Stop! Oh, there's Rotolo. 
those long arms, man, he doesn't even need the level change. He can just reach out and grab his opponent's legs. He's happy to pull those over after that, okay? right? Just puts a, a little block behind, they can't move backwards, and just drives through. Swing and a miss from Sosa on the foot sweep there. Sosa is a very gritty competitor. He's happy oh, yeah. to play some mind games, get in the head. Oh, he loves it. He Third thrives goal. on it. Of his opponent, yeah, yeah. He's absolutely, you know, he's what we're looking for here. Who's number one? It's no surprise that he's in the final tonight. No, you're right. He, uh, oh, that was a little, uh, that was a little bold there by Cade Rotolo. Almost a little, paid the price. A little pivot and showing his he's back there. Kind of doing it again now. Is huge Stop! blast Stop! double. Stop! 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 Man, I think that fight throws her up because he, he wanted to keep that going through the table. I would judge he's almost knocked out of the way there, but... Andre Galvao is begging K to maybe uh, be a little more traditional. We're open-minded here, but... We need to do need to keep it on the mat. We've got about <laughs> as big a mat as we could possibly hope for here, uh, who's number one. I mean, that is the... Uh, that is the third big takedown that Cade Rotolo has managed to hit on Souza. However, all that work, and here's another look at coming around to the back. Whoa. Running out of space here. Souza scrambling up. Right on the edge of bounce here. Stop! Cade is clearly getting the better of these stand-up exchanges there, mixing his wrestling with a little bit of judo. Really, really dynamic grappling from both athletes, but Cade, again, getting the better of those exchanges. A great work from our referee and allowing them to wrestle on the mats. They were right on the edge of the safety area, almost out of bounds, but landing in a position that we were able to recreate. And I was just about to say that Rutolo, he had done all that work in, in throwing Souza down to the mat, but hadn't, hadn't been able to solidify position, hadn't been able to keep him there, but now, this time, he has an opportunity to start moving forward. Can you believe that we were less than four minutes into this match? Well, so action much action. So I am predicting this entire match, not one stalling warning. Not their styles. I think Souza needs to be very careful here. He can't afford to relax with somebody as opportunistic and as dangerous as Cade Rotolo. Play the open game. You can see looking for that dust choke there. Rotolo already feeding that hand in. Yeah, they can, both brothers can hit that from long range. But Toza hunting for a leg here. Trying to draw the heel into the leg lock. Control of the toes. The entanglement not particularly secure. Rutolo able to bring his leg back out of danger. And straight back into that leg ping pass. And this is so effective, something that they're able to do. <laughs> it's kind of funny because, you know, their build, their feet are, are quite large. So they're able to step on their opponent's shins, and yet their toes and their heel will make contact with the mat. Yeah, and it really disrupts the rhythm of the guard player. And look at Cade, pouring on the pressure here. Nearly passed, so it does a nice job of re-guarding, but again, a great look from Cade. Not All out of danger, Not out of danger either. Look at this. Oh, there's the smother. Something that both of Rotolo has been doing so well. So is again looking to collect the leg. He does, but Kate's knee currently out of danger. Builds his base, stands up, and again looks to pass. And look at him, he is not moving backwards. He is just pouring on the pressure from top. Oh, oh that was a big tactical error there from Sosa, but he was able nicely, to though, recover. Yes, yeah. you cannot just <sighs> casually go belly down, but he does it again, and Kate wraps up an arm, looks like it's hard to see from where we're sitting. This is dangerous territory. You start getting to your knees like this. This is prime territory for Rotolo to wrap an arm around the neck. And you have to wonder if that was the work weight of Cade really pressuring uh, Gabriel's guard where he did not want to keep inverting, keep regarding like that. He's oh, trying I think something so. different, and it's gotten Cade where he wants to be in this match. Well, what do you think he's going to go for from here, Chase? Oh, I think he's trying to isolated arm, but Gabriel's done a nice job, so he goes for more of a stack pass now. Maybe he's hunting for a guillotine, it's tough to say, but he's clearly in a nice attacking position. Seems to be feeding the arm through. The right arm's getting deeper. That's classic Dar setup. However, the left hand around the, it's kind of floating right now. It's looking for openings, and Souza is very aware of the threat that Kate Rotolo poses in this position. He's going to be defending his neck at all costs. 
There it is. There's the dust. Kane Rotolo sinks in the dust. He's dropping off to the side. It could be over. That Rolls looks good. Through. That looks tight. He's getting onto his side here. If he sprawls on this, it could be over. Goes over on top. How is Souza not tapping here? He seems to be all right. I mean, he's in clear danger. He's gritting his teeth. He's trying to roll to his back. I would be shocked if he gets out of this. Kate is so good here. And he's got so much time to work. We have over 20 minutes here. Big squeeze from Rotolo, sprawling on top. There it there is. There it is. There Kate Rotolo captures the 155 strap with a dust choke in the final. Another submission finish here at who's number one. And a very decisive way to capture the lightweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by Darce Choke submission at six minutes, 52 seconds. And new, who's number one lightweight champion, Kane Rutter! Submission bonus to Cade Rotolo. A nice $1,000 to go to the 1,000 he won yesterday for his submission against Diego Pato, plus the grand prize of 30K. And look at that belt. Look at that smile. I'm not sure which one is shining brighter. The Cade Rotolo, very happy. That is a bad.